today is that it will be largely dry with our area of high pressure close by. Frost and fog likely to develop and it will be a little chillier at least for a time but there's still a bit of uncertainty as to just how much chillier it will become. That's all from me. Bye for now. Tonight at 10, the Bank of England raises interest rates to the highest level for over 14 years. They've gone up to 4% to try to control inflation, and the bank's governor is reluctant to say that the worst is over. I very much hope so, but we've only just begun to turn the corner in my view, so it's too early to make that call with any, I'm afraid, degree of certainty, but I hope so. We'll be looking at the consequences for people with mortgages, with credit card debt and other borrowing. Also tonight, in Ukraine, a former Russian army officer tells the BBC that he witnessed Russian soldiers engaged in torture, looting and threats of rape. The family of a missing woman who disappeared in Lancashire village appeal for anyone who saw her to contact the police. British Gas admits there's no excuse for using debt agencies who broke into homes to fit prepayment meters. And we speak to Microsoft's Bill Gates about COVID, vaccines, and conspiracy theories. I guess people are looking for the, the boogeyman behind the curtain, the oversimplistic explanation. And coming up on the BBC News Channel, Manchester United say they'll conduct their own process before determining the future of their player, Mason Greenwood, after rape and assault charges were dropped against him today. Good evening. The Bank of England has raised interest rates to the highest level for more than 14 years, with inevitable consequences for people with mortgages and credit card debt and other borrowing. The rise by half a percentage point to 4% is uh, yet another attempt to control inflation. Now, the bank confirmed that the economy is set to enter recession this year, but it said the recession could be less pronounced than previously thought. Inflation remains close to its highest level for 40 years. The Bank of England is warning that there are still big risks to manage. Their words today. Let's start then tonight with our economics editor, Faisal Islam. Yes, you. So rates have been raised consistently 